Jason. Caleb, you son of a bitch. What are you gonna do a review for Predator? Well, soon better be pretty fucking soon because a bunch of these slack-jawed maggots around here think that Prey is better than the original film. Look, J-Man, you're the only person I trust that can convince any of these idiots that Predator is the OG, the original, the best of them all. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not better. You know that. We both know that. I will be reviewing Predator soon. I'll do my best to calm down. But remember this, J-Man. There's something out there waiting for you. And it ain't no man. If anyone can talk any sense into him, it's you. Talk to you later. Caleb needs the calm the fuck down. For one ugly motherfucker. <laughs>
Mine with everything we've got. It sounds easy, but it is so hard. And so many uh, filmmakers now can't seem to take that that 80s over the top action movie, then blend it into this horror sci fi, bring amp up the tension, the tension, the tension. Then it becomes like this survival movie. It's so smooth and entertaining through the whole bloody movie, man. It's just awesome stuff. Great characters in this. And I love all the characters in this movie. And I love how they honor them. You know, John McTiernan reminds you at the end credits, if you stay for end credits, that who we just spent time with, who are, you know, Arnold's the last one left, but he goes into this almost like he's honoring them after. He goes through each person who's been wiped out by the Predator, and they all have this, you know, little moment in the credits and thing. I've always loved that. I always thought that was a really cool way to end this film. And they're a brotherhood. They got camaraderie. You know, Blaine and Mac, these two best friends when Blaine gets wiped out you get that great uh piece of dialogue by Bill Duke when he's looking at the moon and that great music coming in and he's like you know rem re remembering his friend and everything honoring his friend you know he says you know I've got you I'm gonna get him and I'm gonna cut your knee you know my I just absolutely love it man And so many one-liners with these characters and all the other characters in this movie, too. We got Carl Weathers' character, Dylan, an old friend of Dutch's, who, you know, got them in there to do dirty work. So you have just, you know, that just amped the tension up a little bit. And, you know, he has a redeeming quality to him. You know, he gets freaking killed. You know, he goes after the Predator. So I've always loved that. You got freaking Hawkins, Shane Black with his pussy jokes and everything. They're absolutely hilarious. I still find them funny. I, I love how this character, you know, he keeps telling these jokes and he's always telling it to the guy who never laughs to the movie, but he gets them to laugh with Billy, you know, and Billy starts laughing. I just think that's absolutely hilarious. And Billy, you know, the guy who's scared of nothing, but fears the predator the most. So he's like, we're all going to die. Just great stuff. And I still think to this day, this is one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's best acting performances. He is great as the T-800 in that original Terminator. He owns that role. He really invested his time. He really went for it with this character, I think. And I think he really tried. He really tried to make this, like, you know, a character. Not just an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Like, this is this is Dutch. We see Dutch, right? It's one of the few times I don't really see Arnold. I, I see Dutch, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, you're going to see Arnold. You see him. He's all buff and everything. But you see that character of Dutch, and I just love this character and I, I love the performance he gives i think he uh i think he really stands out in this movie not with his just his charisma because he's he's sharing the screen with so many other people he doesn't really take over the movie not until everyone dies and he's the you know he he becomes uh the hunter right and that's another thing i like is that the survivalist thing at the end where everything everything that the predator did to dutch dutch does to him camouflaging himself hiding in trees setting up traps all this kind of stuff the he outsmarts the predator right and i like how it's called predator arnold becomes the predator so when you just say predator you know what i mean it really knocks that home and with arnold's performance you know he's one of the few characters the dude really shows fear like you really see the fear like he's up shit creek he doesn't he doesn't know what he's in for here he doesn't know what they don't know what they're in for and these are the top trained soldiers who fear nothing right and you know arnold really shows that fear that worry that anxiety but there's also a lot of greased up muscles and you know great action scenes you know the one where they rescue all the hostages is awesome is awesome and then it goes into like i said before it goes into like a them all being hunted like a slasher flick almost. I absolutely love the cinematography in this film. I like the on-location shooting somewhere in Mexico, I believe, in the jungle. But, you know, on-location shooting, um, top-of-the-line special effects at the time. Obviously, some of the effects are dated now, but I still think the creature design really works. You know, it's never looked better than this. I just love the way it looks here, but... The camera is never at eye level for too long. The camera is always using low angles, high angles, staring at them through trees. It it gets this feeling that someone's always watching them and we know someone's watching them or something, this alien. And I like how they put off you don't see the predator for quite some time in this movie. 
you don't see him full out predator mode for quite some time. And that one shot where he comes out of the water and Dutch is hiding himself in the mud. And you see, you know, that shot where the predator, you know, breaks the fourth wall almost and, and just kind of looks and he's going like this. Always love it. It's one of my favorite shots in this uh, whole franchise, not just this movie. You will never find a movie with so many one liners. There's so many great one liners in this film. Uh, in fact, I've done uh, my top 10 lines from this movie, so you guys can check that out uh, up here if you want to check that. It's just a short little video, but, you know, old Painless is waiting, payback time, you know, get to the chopper, you know, you know Bill Duke's like, you ghosted this motherfucker. You give away position one more time, I'll bleed you real quiet. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. The uh, creature design is amazing. The detail in this thing where it's wearing all the little skulls, the real reptilian look that we can thank Arnold for that, by the way, because the original Predator looked like a scorpion and it was fucking awful, awful looking, just terrible freaking looking. And he said, you should talk to Stan Winston. They got Stan Winston involved. The rest is history. Look what we got. The freaking dreadlocks, the, the teeth, like the mouth, like um, a manta or something like that. You know what I mean? The way it opens up and everything like that. He's, you know, he's sweating. He this, he he looks um this so real, you know, with great practical effects. Kevin Peter Hall's performance. He played uh in the pre he played the Predator in the Predator Two as well. I can go on and on about the creature design here. It's, it's my favorite creature design of all time in any movie, even more than the Xenomorphs. I love the look of the Predator, that classic Predator. Absolutely love the look of him. And the little things in his character, you know what I mean? How he watches them, how he's studying them, how he's he's on the hunt with them and everything. But one scene I really like is that you know he's taking trophies, is where he's, you know, he's he's got the skull in his hand and he's just dragging his finger. Look at the trophy I got. He's so proud of the hunt. The only thing I'll never understand, I've watched this movie so many times. If one of you guys can answer this, is when he shoots Mac in the head. Then you see the big hole in the skull. I don't know why he would damage one of his trophies. The only thing I can figure is that Mac was climbing under a log. And when he gets shot, that was the only shot the Predator had without giving away his position because he was hunting Dylan too. So he was kind of trying to be quiet. That's the only thing I can come up with. But I don't know why he, how, why he would wreck his, uh, his trophy. And the heart behind this whole film, the music. Other than Rocky, I listen to this more than any other soundtrack, man. I absolutely love it. You can work out to this thing. It's got this uh, real tribal sounding thing. It sets the pacing for the whole movie. That you know, without that music, I'd I, without that music, this movie would probably feel slow. But it's got that you know, this call and answer effect and dun 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. it's driving it's driving the movie along that's what your music's got to do it's got to have this heart to it and you know like i said before that dialogue by bill duke you know just freaking love it it does have some heart you know what i mean they're a band of brothers man these guys they're a band of brothers but that music is so good it's absolutely so good great drumming It'd make a great heavy metal freaking guitar. If you did this on guitar going, you know what I mean? It's so good. It's absolutely so good, man. Only the only criticism I, I really give this movie. I love the over top eighties action. I like, you know, when it does get a bit cheesy, I love it. The arm shake, you know, Dylan, you son of a bitch. I love all that. There's this, the fight at the end between Arnold and the predator through this whole movie. We see the predator's perspective. You know, where you see um see the infrared or you know the, the heat signature and everything. But when they have the Ed fight, the end fight, they keep going to that. You see him, you know, chasing Arnold, beating up Arnold with the with the heat signature. I think I would have just by by this time in the movie, I would have took that. I just wanted to see them two fight. And instead of cutting back to that the heat signature point of view, I just thought, you know, it's just a little nitpick. It obviously doesn't bring the movie down, but that's the only really nitpick I have of this movie, but I think it's incredibly, um, I, I, I love the characters. It's incredibly well made. It's a classic for a reason, man. It stands the test of time for a reason. 
you know, just great action, great characters, very, you know, you, very simple, keeping things simple, but giving us a story that we really like. And in my intro, though, I was just poking fun at Prey, but I do, I really do like Prey. Um, and it did the same thing. It went back to something more simple. You got to treat this, um, this franchise like that. Use the simplicity and you'll, you can get, um, you can d deliver a really high tension action flick. The greatest movie to watch with your friends, the greatest movie to watch with the guys. Um, even though my wife really likes this movie too, but three stuff guys, you know what I'm saying? Girls, you know what I'm saying? But I absolutely love this movie guys. I'm going to give predator a solid a. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments below what you think of Predator. Let's talk about Predator. Do you like it? Maybe you don't like it. Do you consider it a classic or do you consider it a little bit overrated? Let's have healthy, good discussion in my comments section. And yeah, man, we'll 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 do it up. We'll, we'll converse and all that stuff. Go down the rabbit hole. Check out the other content I've made, especially for the Alphabet X movie challenge for all you freaking die hard action fans and i'm glad to be back from all these guys so we're in full swing again i'll try and get as much content out content out as possible as usual i will see you next time my name is jason you're watching backtrack cinema see you in the cheers